this number 11 ag road i have with me uh one of the most dynamic ladies on the entire steam platform a recent <laughs> a recent recipient of 10,000 steam power i believe as part of a delegation to go help minnows that make quite a bit of difference around here and quite frankly one of my my favorite people on the platform i'd like to welcome uh crimson clad Hi, I <laughs> I didn't really know I was going to be on this show. Well, you were in the waiting room. <laughs> what did you expect was going to happen when you were in the waiting room? Do you want the actual reason? <laughs> um... uh, I was helping Ron with some sound checking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm here now. You have me. Well, I, so uh, let's do this. I thought, I, well, well, how am I supposed to interpret that? Yeah, There was some comment <laughs> about whether or not you'd be on the, on the show, and then it, you showed up in the waiting okay. room, and I was it's like... Okay. This thing, this is happening. It's happening, damn it. Well, what are you going to yeah, do? Yeah, so that's fine. I mean, I'm here now. And uh, there you go. You can't see me gesturing wide, like wildly and sweepingly, but you have me. So okay. here we go. Oh, fantastic. Hey, do the so, thing. So you, you just recently won some delegation, it would seem. Is this, is this accurate? Or I don't yeah, know if you um, won it. I mean, you, you, you found yourself I, with it. Yeah, I did not win it. Um, and nobody that delegated to me actually told me either. It <laughs> appeared in my wallet. And a couple hours later, everybody was like, oh, my God, look at your wallet. So, you know, that was sort of the progression was I have no power. And then I have some power. And everybody's pooping their pants over it. Wow. It's it's great. Well, it's a really, it's a nice surprise. Um, so I did actually reach out to the people who delegated to me and had some shitty chat with them. Um and yeah, it, it essentially was community building is important. You are building community. Therefore, here's some more um, here's some more oomph to do it with. Nice. No, I mean yeah. that, that's that's what this entire place is about. And so, getting other people to um, support us, not just us internally, not just you know me and Osbit Bank and a couple other um, folks like Neoxian and. You know, there's some there's some folks in here that have accumulated some steam power that delegated back here, um, and that's great and all. But it's nice when people that are sort of outside of that little MSP bubble look in here and say, "Holy shit, there's some good stuff going on in here, and some really amazing people. We should go delegate to them." So that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it was. It's great, and I mean, <laughs> it's funny because um, when I was speaking with one of them, they were like, "Hey, so I noticed you delegate a lot yourself." Uh, stop doing that for a little bit because <laughs> my immediate plan was, okay, well now I've got, you know, a, a bigger sort of cap that I can give my own SP away. And uh, they're like, no, no, seriously, you will be more help if you grow your own account. So take this and do that now. But the reality is, is all it means. Um, okay. So for, for everybody listening, um, I curate out of the pond. Now I don't have a huge account. So my curation is, um, mostly that I come by, oh, well, I would say my list now is, uh, maybe, maybe about a hundred different people that I watch at any given time, um, that I come by and I kind of drive by and give you some love on your posts. Uh, and I try to anyways, I spend about uh, two hours a day manually curating and the rest is done based on a system of lists that I've built over time. And I check them each week. And there's sort of a tiered system of list based on the quality of your content and whether you're active in your community and a number of other things. Um, so basically it takes up a huge amount of my time, which is kind of funny because after all that, what do I give you? Like two cents? Fuck. <laughs> so to have the, uh, the extra boost just means that I can continue with this. I do curate out of um, a couple other servers. I've begun doing that as well. So basically provided that you are a minnow and you are trying your damnedest and you're not treating other people in a shitty fashion, uh, I'm looking for you and I'm going to find you. So be scared, but also be a little I'll find you, excited. I'll find you and I'll vote you. That's right. Be scared, but also be excited. Don't be, don't know. Just, you know, it's, it's a whole roller coaster of emotions and then maybe a vote at the end. <laughs> well, that sounds awesome. Well, no, I mean, look, I, I, I strongly support their decision to go pick you and uh, Cubby and Inquiring Times. I mean, those are three people that I think do a lot in this community, specifically around building community. And if that is a the number one criteria or one of the main criteria, like Lexi is saying it is, then uh, they have found three exemplary people to that embody that and uh, really help greet and welcome people on here and turn this into... 
um, not just here, not just the Minnow Support Project, but turn um, Steam into a welcoming community. So I, I feel like it's entirely well deserved. I th those are three phenomenal choices for this, and uh, I'm really excited to see it happening. And I'm glad that at least uh, two and a half of those Inquiring Times is definitely like associated with us. He's not one of our mods, but to see two of a uh, two two mods out of here winning that, or two mods out of here earning that like it's the least shocking thing to me and the people that want it or the people that got it, it it's clear as day why they would be the recipients well yeah and so thank you i mean it feels like every time i come on here this is kind of like just like one of those sort of mutual admiration sessions that everybody needs now and again um but i guess i guess the big thing is is it's um yeah as uh, I hate the word leadership, but let's call it as part of the leadership team in here. I think the expectation is that I do that. Um, I started doing it before I was, but now it, it's absolutely part of the job. Um, but for the rest of you guys, I mean, we talk every day. I literally talk to you guys every day. And my hope is not just as you grow, not just as you learn things in the pond about how to be better posters, how to make more money, all of the stuff that you want to do on steam it i also hope that you learn some of the skills to build community yourself um and so i mean you guys are pretty good at putting up with my dumb lectures and me lurking around and always popping into your conversations and constantly kind of uh my fascist count my fascist count is up to eight wow. now so well, for some of, of you guys that may me. not know one of those <laughs> is me i'm not i you can you can bring that back to seven uh yeah so basically you know it, one in 10, one in 15, one in 20 people decides that they really don't want to listen to me anymore, calls me a fascist and stomps off. But the rest of you put up with it and that's awesome. And my hope is, is that you start doing little things like greeting people in the shallows, that you start doing tiny things like when somebody comes in excited about a follower milestone, that you give them a little boost. Um, and I'm hoping that each time we have these minnow meetings, we have these town hall meetings with uh, Skanky J and everybody else, um, that you start thinking about that for the next week and it kind of gets back in your head. You know, tr pick a channel that maybe interests you and even if there's not somebody talking in it, look at the last five posts, ping somebody, say hi to them, ask them a question. You know, the next time you see somebody who's clearly ESL or who is really struggling or who comes into the deep end and is like, upvote no work, why? Instead of throwing a meme at them or yelling at them or driving them out, maybe maybe engage them a little bit. And I've seen a couple that have come in that have really started trying hard um, on the networking side of things. Like, I can see you guys making a difference in each other. So if we can kind of keep that in the back of our minds and use that with every new user, it's exponential, right? And you take it out onto the platform. You feel good in here. You take it out there. It shows in your posting um, and it makes waves, right? Ripples in the pond is what we call them, but it's, it's the perfect metaphor. Go make some ripples on Steam. Go make some ripples in somebody else's life, right? It's so cheesy and stupid, but it's a good thing. And yet so, it happens. It yeah. happens every damn day. And uh, I feel like we help a lot of people in here. You know, not just not just with the up a bot, but with all the interactions and a healthy community and a intentional community. I feel like we help a lot of people, and um, that's what helps me get up out of bed and say, you know what, I'm going to go put another uh, six hours into Steam today and try to make sure that uh, the radio is working and that the mods are here and that the minnows are coming and that the posts are earning and that there's money to go do things around here and. Um, you know, it's that it's that real simple wish that I want this world to change and I have to change personally to make that happen. And I have to, in my idea, I create a space to help uh, create a movement and create an alternative. Uh, and if we can do that, then maybe we can have nice things again. Well, that might be a ways away. But in here, we yeah. sometimes we have nice things. Sometimes we have naughty things. Sometimes we have nuggets. Sometimes we have gravy. God, it's what? always so many <laughs> freaking nuggets tonight no no okay, i'm no, banning listen. ban all the nuggets <laughs> you can't you cannot censor nuggets this is an uncensored platform i'm sorry i know I'm sorry. it's not the it's not the peace abundance you know liberty except for nuggets <laughs> platform you know you know the other night after my show after uh, after talking about it for hours i i got drunk and then i got nuggets right 
Um, you know, and then I came back and I posted photographic evidence of it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fight them. Yeah, I mean, nug life. Yeah, what are you gonna do? You yeah. guys, nug life. Gonna eat nuggets. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, Hashtag well, nug life. Um, if you can find me some nice vegan ones, I would. Uh, I would accept your vegan nuggetry. Have you gone fully vegan? No, but uh, only because I travel so much. I've certainly done veganism for a while, and then I start traveling, and I'll like go down to the deep south, and they'll be like, uh, "You're a vegan? Does that mean that means you just eat veal? What is that? What do you do?" <laughs> like they don't, they don't understand it. So like when I was in Jackson, Mississippi, or when I've been down in. Um, I don't know, Birmingham, Alabama, you just can't get good vegan food there. So well, away with away with veganism. I went back to being a vegetarian. I've had I've had a little bit of meat recently. I did a little bit of meat at uh thing or Friendsgiving today and I really regretted it. Like my stomach got upset, like my, my it actually hurt. Just you know, had a little bit of bacon and a little bit of turkey and uh, my body was rejecting it. So I'll go back to being a vegetarian. And oh, I, I feel terrible now because my favorite animal is steak. Uh, I'm not <laughs> sure. I'm not sure that steak is an actual animal. I think. Oh God. Okay, listen. It's no, just a cute and no, pithy saying. No, it's not. Yes. It's not an animal. I mean, it's I'm a, a pithy saying. No, pithy saying. It is pithy, but uh, you know, as a scientist, take my pith. <laughs> <laughs> Don't don't take your pith out on me. Uh, <laughs> I, take my pith. Uh, hey, I feel like you're probably getting sleepy. Uh, I might, <laughs> Why I don't might we? Be, I might be losing it a little, but I can't go just yet because I have some, to play. Can we dice do some bitches. dice we gotta bitches? Do, we got to do dice bitches. So I'm gonna go put on some music. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, figure out who won the delegation because there's 250 steam power that has to go out. Uh, actually, 500 because uh, Sim Girl won it from the creative show, and I haven't yet. Uh, done that because I'm a slacker but tomorrow when I go do the delegation for this I will add it for sim girl as well and oh with the repping uh with the wedding oh nothing I'm watching chat and you know interrupting oh, your soliloquy hey you got a uh did you get a t-rep oh I got a t-rep uh, <sighs> this is savage all right I'm moving on before the Hold before on. everybody gets the their t-rep say Okay, so before you throw me throw me out of here on my ass, um, everybody be nice to each other, please. If you are around and you're hanging out in general, deep end, keep an eye on the shallows. Every now and again, say hi to somebody new. That's our biggest thing this week. Um, we change the conditions on the Upvote channel. So if you have noticed, a lot of people have been wandering out of there, dazed and confused and blinking their eyes in the sunlight of the rest of the Discord server. Um, pounce on them. Say hello. Uh, we're going to continue making changes like that because we would like to move the entire server forward into more conversation. It's already happened today. Um, it's kind of moving forward. We are officially over 5,000 for real reels, which is super exciting. Um, that's kind of what we got to do. So that's my, my final closing statement to you guys is when you can pop into another channel and engage someone and don't just like leave a high and then bounce, ping somebody Ask them a question so they have to answer you maybe. Anything to sort of open a dialogue. Otherwise, be good to each other. Be cool. Do all the things you want to do. Don't no, be stingy. No duding. Oh, no Lord. duding. No I'm nuggets. being censored. Now you see the oppression inherent <laughs> yeah, in the system. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm a fascist. Do, I'm do a horrible, all the horrible things. fascist. Ignore this fascist. <laughs> be good. Good work today. Okay. <sighs> I'll most likely kill you in the morning. All right. Well, hey, it's getting late. I'm uh, I'm kicking you off. Crim this was a uh, crimson clad. She was recently awarded ten thousand steam power as a delegation. She is a senior moderator uh, as well as a, a co witness with Follow BTC News. Uh, they are doing a phenomenal job putting out all kinds of products, including Ghost Steam, uh, and then I can't remember those some of the other websites that they have. Uh, Steamistry, did I say that right? And then we also have, uh, of course, they won a Medal of Honor for uh, the MinnowSupportProject.org website because uh, that thing is gorgeous. And that, and and as Crystal says, she is in fact the uh, the voice of Krimrodica. Uh And if you missed that, then you missed one of the highlights of of the week, maybe even beyond that. Uh, all right, so uh, we got. We're gonna go play a song. We're gonna play some dice bitches, and uh, depending on how quickly dice bitches goes, 
we'll um, we'll probably wrap up. But here's the rules. I'm gonna go give. Um, I'm gonna roll dice using the 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 command T exclamation point dice 15d15. If you tie my roll or beat it, you can stay in for the next round, uh, and then it'll be uh, the dice 14d14. So it'll shrink a little bit, and we'll keep going uh, until either I win or you guys win, or one if somebody else wins. If they win, they'll get 25 SBD. If I win, uh, we will we will re-roll and replay this thing. Uh, it, the game is very highly favoring of me. I didn't realize that when I started it or just how bad it would be, but I win like three out of four of these games. So if I win, the uh, the money's going to go to MSP Waves to go pay for the station. Uh, and that's what I got for tonight. So uh, I'm going to start with some delegation. So if you came on the show, there were uh, 11 of you this evening, and I roll your number. You can... Um, you get a 250 steam power delegation from me if you are already at uh, highly delegated or something like that, or you're already a dolphin or a whale, then the delegation, you can tell me who to go put that on top of. Um, so just like that, but actually, uh, shoot, uh, I'm going to roll 13. Can we just put the who's up there? Um, I'm going to roll T dice 13. And uh, if we roll a unlucky 13, then the person that got, then we're going to push the delegation to next week. So this one is don't, this is not T dice for everybody. This is just for the delegation T dice um, 1D 13. And on a 13, we push to next week. And uh, the result is 12. Crimson Clad wins it. So Crimson, I'm not going to actually give you the delegation because you're already sitting at 10,000. But why don't you go, uh, you get the glory of picking somebody that you would like to proxy for. And, um, and then we can go from there. Oh, and now Michael is saying that he's back. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Uh, you slept off. Uh, maybe I'll let you on the show. Why not? We're doing all kinds of crazy stuff now. Uh, but we're going to go play Dice Bitches first. Um, so I better pause this recording.